I know, I'm gonna find me if I say so myself. <laughs> Hola! Hello, hello, how are you? Thank you so much for picking this video amongst all the videos that you could possibly watch on YouTube. You chose me and that's, that is so nice. <laughs> And if you are new to my channel, first of all, hi, nice to meet you, nice to meet you. My name is Greta, so my full name is Greta Luna Priego, if you care, I mean, <laughs> now you know. And I am a 23-year-old Latina woman that is living and working in Paris, France. You heard it right, and I know that sounds like a dream. It really is a dream. I mean, it's amazing. I've obviously had some really, really bad days, and I've had some really, really good days, and today's a good day, and that's why I'm wearing this beret. Um, I don't know if I put it on correctly. I don't wear them that often because I have a big ass forehead, and I feel like it accentuates that. Now you're gonna notice that I have a big ass forehead. But while being here, I've definitely picked up on some observations. Is that the word? On some observations about Parisian fashion trends. Okay, now, can I just say, Parisian women, and also a lot of Parisian men, are some of the most well-dressed individuals I have ever seen in my life. If I think I can go like, let's say I'm just going to the supermarket, I'm just gonna get like some milk or something, I go, you know, I'm just walking along and I'm wearing my sweats and my sneakers and I'm like, no one's gonna see me. I mean, like, I'm sure everyone at the supermarket is wearing like, you know, their pajamas or something. Oh no. A girl's got like the new Gucci bag. Another sister has like the new Doc Martens. Another sister has the new mango long trench coat that is not even in stores yet. Yeah, another sister has like a coach, full on coach outfit that I didn't even know coach makes clothes, what? Parisian people are some of the most well-dressed people in the entire freaking world and I just want to be, I want to be that. I want to be that. And I thought, since I want to be that so badly, <laughs> I thought I would share with you my wisdom and the information that I've gathered about Parisian fashion, at least as it is in the moment right now, because obviously it will probably change. All right, so let's get started. All right, so let's, let's do the thing. Let's, all right, so let's get started. Okay, so let's get started. I never know how to transition. Let's do it. All right, so <laughs> this is voiceover Greta. Hi, hello. So this first look is called La Torre Eiffel because that's what I would wear to La Torre Eiffel. And for this, you gonna need an LBD, okay? So this one that you're seeing right now, the spotty one, I actually got from Macy's and it was like such a steal, which is amazing. And also something that is literally so huge here is the tote bag. I mean, forget about the actual like the traditional purse yeah the new thing is the tote bag and you get brownie points if it shows how much you travel like this one that says barcelona and also some booties some black booties these are obviously docks i love my doc martens i have no idea what i'm doing there that's kind of weird and also for accessories something that is also super huge here are hair accessories and it's crazy because i mean like the scrunch used to be such a big thing and it's definitely coming back as you can see i added like a little cute scrunchie in my hair it's from francesca's i love it so much and this is the look this is what i would wear on basically a picnic to in front of the park, where the park is, in front of La Torre Eiffel. It's so freaking cute. And this is like the epitome of Parisian fashion. So basically something that's just so popular here is the entire look where it's just very cute, but with an edgy look. And I added a red lip, lip, lip. I added a red lip, as you can see. I used the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color Monte Carlo, and it's so cute. Okay, so the second look is called Le Café. Basically, as you can tell, this is what I would wear to Le Café. And for this, you're gonna need some neutrals, okay? So neutrals are the thing here. So there's not really that much with bright, bold colors. It's a lot of black, white, browns, you know. And you're also gonna need some jeans. It's great if you have a pair of high-waisted jeans. That is basically the only thing that exists here. And like a statement jacket. So 
Okay, if you have a puffer jacket, that's even like more Parisian. But I found this jacket and I think it's so cute. It's from Zara, it's spotted, it's super cute. And also some platform shoes. So platform is also like, I see it everywhere. Like even the men wear the platform shoes. And as for accessories, dainty jewelry. Dainty jewelry is already was already one of my favorite things in the world. So just adding it into my wardrobe was super easy. And this is the look. As you you can see I added like a cute belt I thought it kind of like cinched the waist in even more and as you can see I chose the black shirt I got this from and other stories which uh can I just talk about how much I love and other stories it's like my favorite store in the whole freaking world and I added the statement leopard is it leopard or cheetah or I don't I don't know it's like an animal print jacket I love it it's super in right now as you guys probably new from winter fashion it's became the thing and here's me putting the shoes on you can see how it kind of like elevates the look a little bit and okay everyone here is so freaking tall everyone in paris is huge i mean huge in, in terms of like height but not in terms of like width you know but everyone here is so tall so to have these platform shoes it helps me so much because i don't look like a little tiny latina girl walking around okay and for this third look i would like to call this le louvre is it la louvre or le louvre i forget but for this you're gonna need a comfy knitted oversized sweater so this one i got from zara i love it so much it kind of goes as you can see it goes with like the neutral trend that is super huge here and it's so soft that's why i'm doing that thing in the video and you're also gonna need a long pleated skirt so this one is actually technically a midi skirt but it's a maxi skirt on a sister <laughs> and also a long trench coat so these long trench coats are they're 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 the thing they're the new thing and i also have these sock boots which oh girl oh girl they're my new favorite thing and i also bought this new backpack as you can see it's, isn't it so cute it's actually from this store here that's called parfois and that basically means that means sometimes in french uh and i just love it i love it so much so you can see that i kind of like tucked in the sweater into the skirt and i think it looks so good oh my god it's so cute and yeah this, so this is basically what i would wear if i were if i were walking around at the louvre and i wanted to still look cute for pictures but i wanted to feel super comfortable and just kind of like free you know and the book bag is great for that because it allows you to put your tickets in there it allows you to put your camera in there it's great i love it it's a good time and you can see that i wear the trench coat and it's just it i kind of like like I said with the boots for the last outfit it kind of elevates the entire look and it makes you look even taller it streamlines your entire body so if you are a petite sister like me then I highly recommend this and there I am with the book bag it's so cute oh my god I love it <laughs> so cute I'm gonna keep saying that okay bye bye so that's basically it for this video I hope that you found this helpful at least or maybe just entertaining and you're probably just gonna forget everything that i said that's fine as well but thank you for watching if you want to see more of how i style my outfits on where i'm traveling and stuff you can follow me on instagram my instagram is just my full name which is at greta luna priego i'll leave it in the screen on the screen for you somewhere somewhere speaking of traveling i actually just booked tickets yeah to and and back to switzerland geneva switzerland and i am like so excited oh my god a sister's going to switzerland oh god i'm so excited and you'll definitely be seeing photos of me in the snow if it's still snowing at that time i actually have no idea what it's gonna be like i am really looking forward to sharing this entire journey with you guys and continuing to make videos because i freaking love it man i love making videos i will see you guys in the next video thank you for watching i hope that you enjoyed and have a beautiful day night afternoon whatever time you're watching this and i will see you in the next video bye i also have a zit that i was gonna cover up with this hat but if i put it oh yeah actually <laughs>